uh, oh yeah, for all of you who don't know, Sinfig actually crashes quite a bit. So, so, oh, so, that, so, make, so, ma so make so make so make sure you save your work frequently. Make sure you do that. Uh, so go to my legendary chomper uh, flying spot, and here it is right here. Here is my legendary chomper. I uh, it doesn't okay so. Uh, the, so the animation, so, okay, problem with Sinfig is that when you first press the play button, it, it kind of has a hard time getting going, I don't know why it's like that, but anyway, uh, as you, uh, but as you saw there, the animation didn't really go for that long on, uh, before stopping, it kind of stops there, what you want to do is you want to find the, find the last frame, uh, it ended on, you want to find that frame, so, um, Legendary Chomper ends at frame 15. So what I want to do is I want to go to frame 16 because this is that's how my anim this an this animation will work. You gotta go to so you you right click on the right click on the file here, go new layer, time, and then time loop. This will put a uh, this will put a time loop on it automatically for twenty four for frame twenty four. But we don't want it for frame twenty four. We want it to uh, add frame. Uh, 16 so I'll just type in frame 16 right there and voila it's a looping animation we have legendary chomper flying <laughs> there you go uh, now as you can probably oh, wait, hold on. yeah there's something wrong with my screen it's like I don't know like I can't see it's just it's just like it stopped it's it just stopped I can't see I can't see your screen I can't see your screen okay well uh, this is a you problem because everyone's going to see this footage perfectly. <laughs> this, this is an internet problem. Is it working? Oh, well. oh yeah, 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 I can, can kind of see it. Okay, so as you can probably see right here, it's unfortunately has, uh, it, ha it unfortunately has a blur. I'm not sure uh, why it automatically has the blur. It's a little bit annoying. Uh, what you want to do is you want to click on this little arrow at the file. Uh, uh, right click on, no not right click on it, just click on it. Uh, and if you go down to, uh, the le to the left box over here, interpolation, uh, uh, cl uh, double click on this linear, uh, and then you'll see a little arrow, click on that, and it'll give you several... Uh, It'll give you several quality options. What you want to click on is nearest neighbor. And voila, the sprite looks good. Would you look at that? It just doesn't have the blur. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't run at as high of a FPS <laughs> when, <laughs> when, you <clears throat> when you put it at nearest neighbor. But don't worry. Uh, when, you <clears throat> when you render it, it'll still run at 24 FPS. <clears throat> now, you can save it now as... Uh, like as a sin fig file you can save it so right now you just I'll just save it as sin fig legendary chomper chomper flying spot and I'll uh, just save that uh, but that's gonna save it as a sing fig file <clears throat> we don't really want it as a Synfig file because that's only compatible with Synfig. Oh crap, my iPad's falling off. Uh, <laughs> uh, what we want to do is we want to go over to the file over here and click Render. And it'll bring up this spring, uh, screen right here. So, uh, you have two options. You can either re uh, render it as pictures, so, so keep it at uh, PNG, or you can render it as a video. Uh, right now I'm going to show you guys how to render it as a video and I'll show you how to render it as picture uh, what you can do with pictures a little bit later I uh, I don't really know why all this is in it, it doesn't really matter you can delete that what you want to do f uh, for target here is you want to go down to FFM peg uh, if you go to, to choose here you can choose where you want to save it so for me <clears throat> I'm going to be saving it under videos Actually, no, not videos. I, uh, I just, I'm just, I'm just gonna be say, I'm just gonna save it in my uh, Synfig file because why not? This is this is this is a, this is a tutorial video, and uh, go to next. Go to the parameters. 
and this is a very important part. It might this might this part might work differently depending on what kind of computer you have. But for me, <coughs> uh, what you want to do is <coughs> click on uh, click on this option right here underneath raw MPEG to video. Click on MPEG four part two. Click click that one right there and click OK. Uh, quality is three. You, we can just kind of we can just leave that. Uh, normally, you don't really want to mess with this stuff. Uh, here's the time. Here's a here's a part. Uh, you can so uh, we can st uh, pick the start time. I'm, I just want the start time to be zero, and then we can pick the end time and duration. I. Uh, but since Legendary Chomper is not really doing that much, I'm just going to have it rendering. Uh, I'm just going to have it render, uh, I don't know, 50 frames, say. And then if you click on duration, it'll automatically render one more frame. Uh, like, it'll automatically render one more frame than what you had set for end time. And now you want to click render. Uh, this, don't mess with this. And if I did everything right... If I did everything right, we have the Legendary Chomper flying animation. Woohoo! Would you look at that, Zach? Voila! That was pretty good. It only lasts oh, for put two. Put some more. Put some more tip. Now make him run. Make him jump. I, I, I don't have sprites for that, Zach. I don't have sprites for that. Oh, man. So, as, so, as you noticed... Uh, as you as you probably noticed, uh, it has a weird gray background. I don't really know why it registers, it renders uh, empty space as gray, and unfortunately, uh, that also carries over to HitFilm. So when you uh, if HitFilm is what I use, uh, I it, it, ca it carries over to video editing programs. It, it, it carries over to video editing programs, and it's really annoying. I don't know why it happens. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, put... You're going to want to... Uh, to Synfig, you're going to want to import uh, uh, a background that covers, that covers up the empty space. But, there's actually a way to avoid that. So I am going to oh. so I'm going to open uh, another animation I have uh, special effects I don't know how to spell so I um, hmm, which one should I use hit effects here we go uh, I I'm just gonna use this one what uh, what is this one come on really what the heck. Okay. Okay. This. Okay. Here's another thing with Synfig. For some reason, uh, it'll sometimes just uh make make certain. It'll make certain uh animations just disappear for some reason. It's still there, but you can't see it. I don't know why it does that. I, I, I don't know what's up with that. Okay. Is Hit Effect Two still here? There it is. Okay. So we have uh so we have this Hit Effect here. Uh, and it's really cool. Uh, I have it all. I have everything with it sorted out. Uh, what you want to do? Oh yeah. Oops. Uh, I didn't mean to render that. Okay. As I was saying. Uh, so what you want to do is you. <coughs> uh, <coughs> if you're going to render it as pictures, what you want to do is back at the text document part. You always want to have it at 24 FPS. Always want to have it at 24 FPS. Okay. How come not thirty? Or, you know, how come not high? Because Synfig run only runs at twenty four FPS. Oh. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna uh, render it uh, and keep it as PNG. Keep it as PNG. I uh, keep it as what? Keep it as PNG. Okay. You don't really need to mess with any of these options. I uh, picture. Okay. Well, I, I okay. I, okay. Well, before you go to render it, what you want to do is make sure you know the frame that it ends at. So this animation keeps on going till frame. 
it keeps on going till frame seven. It keeps on going till frame seven. So what you're gonna want to do is render I you're gonna want to render it. Uh, you don't really need to change the target, but I guess you can change it to PNG if you want to, but you can just keep it at auto. Uh, what you want to do here is you want, uh, okay, I don't know where I'm going with this. You can, you can, you can put it wherever, we can put it wherever you want. Uh, here, I guess. And, uh, go to time and, and select the, uh, and do you remember... And hopefully you remember what frame the animation ended at. Uh, go one frame before that, because the duration will all automatically set to one frame after the end time. Because Synfig is weird like that. Uh, render that. And if I did everything correctly, yes, I have a, a bunch of hit effect. Uh, okay, I don't know why the, my arrow keys don't work for that. I don't know. Oops, <laughs> I, had, I, I kind of switched over to a GIF. I have Legendary Chomper walking. Uh, okay, so now we have all the pictures. Uh, and for some reason, I'd, ironically enough, the pictures uh, render without a uh, background. The, the background's not, the background isn't gray or anything. It's literally nothing. So you want to open all of them. I. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to dr click and drag all of them over to the to the video bar of your uh, of your editing program. So uh, so I got one, two, three, four. Five, six. Here we go. And I. Uh, all right. Yeah. I. I forgot. I. Uh, it automatic. It defaults. It always defaults to. Uh, to the uh, picture being. Uh, thirty seconds long. So what you want to do is you want to decrease them in time to like really to really short, like just really short. Uh, you all, also you want to zoom in a bit more so you can actually click it. <laughs> you want it to be real short, Zach. Real short, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, <laughs> so this isn't perfect. It's obviously gonna ha have to be a lot faster than that. Uh, but that's what. Uh, but that's what I have uh, selected at the moment. So after you've done all that, you're gonna want to uh, export that, and uh, then you're just gonna have that uh, hit uh, that that animation all by itself that you can do whatever you want with on uh, your editing program. The reason why you'll want to do this is because, uh, as far as I'm aware, with Synfig, you can't. You, you can't actually make anima animations happen a little bit later. For example, uh, let's say, uh, so we have this legendary chomper animation uh, flying happening, and then for whatever reason, I wanted to edit in that, I wanted to edit in uh, that hitting effect that I, uh, that I had. Oh boy, uh, I, I, I kind of, I gotta delete that. <laughs> Uh, for whatever reason, you wanted to add in that hitting effect <laughs> for some reason because uh, even the legendary chomper is not even attacking. Uh, the reason. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, the fr the animation always starts at frame zero. You can, uh, as far as I'm aware, there isn't any way to get the animation to start at a later time. Don't know why, don't know why, but that's just how it is. So if you edit, so if you, 
if you edit it, so if you go on to hit film and uh, do what I just did, except a lot better, uh, then you can put it in where uh, wherever you want, whenever you want. Okay, so uh, is, oh, I'm not. Hold on, just stay with me, Zach. I'm I'm not done. I'm not quite done yet. Um, I'm going to import my legendary chomper uh, walking animation and I, I and the, and we got two legendary chompers here we got the twin legendary chompers one of them is walking one of them is flying but I, most of the time there isn't two legendary chompers legendary chomper doesn't have a clone uh well we're so what how what what do we do if we want uh legendary chomper to be walking and then hit for him to start flying or something like that what uh that is what animation mode here is for what you're gonna want to do okay first let me t drag that time loop into uh, into the legendary chomper flying uh, uh animation what you want to do is you want to press and hold the control button uh and click on both of them this will uh this will allow you to select both of them and now you can add and now you can make them a group you can group them into a switch. And now we just have Legendary Chomper walking. Uh, where the flying animation go? Well, if I go into the... Well, if I have the slick switch selected... I... Oh, right. I forgot to mention. You'll probably want to name these files something else. So, walk... Just have that... Uh, you'll want to name the... Walk and fly. There we go. So right now it is registered as uh, walk. Right now it's registered as walk. I uh, and if if Sinfig decides to work with me, what the heck, Sinfig? What the heck? Okay, now no. Oh my God, Sinfig! I like Sinfig, but it drives me crazy. Uh, now we have legendary Chomper flying. I uh, so we can. I uh, I don't know why. Uh, the walking animation is all the way over here, but whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll, there we go. So, uh, let's say we want the animation to go halfway through, and then Legendary Chomper decides to uh, upgrade from flying to walking. Everything about that, Zach? Why don't, why don't humans just do that? Why don't we just go upgrade from walking to flying? Why don't we have wings? Why can't we have wings, Zach? Uh, okay. Uh, so we have Legendary Chomper walking, and let's say he, I want him to start flying at frame 56. Uh, switch it to animation mode, and it'll be surrounded with this red outline. And now switch it to flying. You'll notice that a little brown part has been put in at that part, at that frame that we, uh, that we decided to have a switch. Uh, that means uh, that is when the animation is starting. So, if I play the animation, Legendary Chomper's walking, and now he goes into a fly. See? Simple as that. <laughs> Any questions, Zach? Or did I explain uh, that very well? Not really. Okay. Uh, so, that, yeah, so the, the, uh, that's how you do, that's how you use a switch. Uh, and that's, that's, that's really all you guys, all you guys have to know about <clears throat> uh, uh, doing sprite animations on Sinfig. If you'd enjoyed the video, make sure you let me know in the comments and even leave a like. Uh, it'd be very much appreciated. Sorry that I haven't been uploading as much recently, but I have been working non-stop on these legendary chomper sprites. Uh, th thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye! 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 <laughs> what, Isaac? <laughs> 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 <laughs>